Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. And today I'll be reading Multi Character Listener by me. So let's get into it. Rengaku. You and Rengaku have been dating for a few months now, and your relationship was going strong. You felt comfortable around him and trusted him completely. One day, you were getting changed in your room when you suddenly heard the door creak open. You quickly spun around clutching a towel to your chest, as you saw Rengaku standing in the doorway. He had a surprised look on his face, but didn't seem to be in a hurry to leave. Um, Rengaku? Can't you knock? He said, feeling your cheek splash. I did knock, but you didn't answer. I thought you might have needed some help, he replied. A mischievous glint in his eyes. You rolled your eyes at him, knowing he was just teasing you. I'm fine, thank you. Can you please turn around while I get dressed? Rengaku chuckled and turned his back to you, but you could tell he was still peeking through the corner of his eye. He shook your head at this childish behavior, but couldn't help but find it endearing. As he finished changing, you couldn't help but feel self-conscious about your body. You had always been a little bit insecure. But Rengaku had never made you feel anything but beautiful and loved. You took a deep breath and stepped out of the room, facing him. Rengaku turned around, a smile spreading across his face as he saw you. Wow, you look stunning. I'm so lucky to have you, he said. Walking over to wrap his arms around you, he blushed, feeling his warmth envelop you. Stop it. You're making me embarrassed, he said, burying your face into his chest. Rengaku tilted your head to look up at him. I can't help it. You're just so beautiful, he said, leaning down to give you a soft, sweet kiss. He melted into his embrace, feeling safe and loved in his arms. Despite the awkward situation, you are beyond grateful for Rengaku's ability to make you feel beautiful and confident in yourself. Michiro, you and Michiro have been dating for a while now, and your relationship has been nothing short of magical. Every moment spent together felt like a fairy tale coming to life. One afternoon, you're getting ready for a night out with Michiro, when he suddenly walks into your room without knocking. Hey, I was wondering if... He stops mid-sentence and turns around, realizing that you were changing. Oh my god, I am so sorry. He stammers, his face turning a deep shade of red. I didn't mean to walk in on you like that. You quickly cover yourself up with a towel and try to hide your own embarrassment. It's okay, you say softly, trying to reassure him. Don't worry about it. But Michiro couldn't seem to shake off his embarrassment. I'm really sorry, he says again, his voice barely above a whisper. I shouldn't have just barged in like that. You can see how genuinely upset he is, and it breaks your heart. You walk over to him and place your hand on his shoulder. It's okay, Michiro, you say, trying to soothe him. It was just an accident. He takes a deep breath and looks up at you with a sheepish smile. I guess I just couldn't resist the temptation. He jokes, trying to lighten the mood. You laugh and push him away gently. You're such a sweetheart, you say, shaking your head. I love you. Mitra's eyes light up with your words, and he pulls you into a tight hug. I love you too, he whispers into your ear. As you hold each other, you realize that even though the moment was embarrassing, it brought you both even closer. It's just one memory to add to your collection of unforgettable moments as a couple. Tengen You and Tengen have been in a passionate and pure relationship, one that never seems to lose its spark. One day, 
while you're getting dressed after a shower, Tengen accidentally walks in on you. Whoa, now this is what I call a pleasant surprise. Tengen smirks as he catches a glimpse of you in your undergarments. You quickly cover yourself up, feeling embarrassed at the sudden intrusion. Tengen, what are you doing? You can't just barge in like that. Don't you have shame? You scold him, but he just grins and leans against the door. Hey, I can't help it if you're irresistible, he says, his eyes glinting with mischief. You're all your eyes at him, but can't help but feel a little bit flattered by his words. You're such a flirt, you say, feeling your cheeks start to heat up. Tengen saunters over to you, a seductive grin on his face. Can you blame me? He whispers, his breath hot against your neck. You are the most beautiful woman I've ever laid my eyes on. You can feel your heart racing as Tengen presses his body against yours, his hands rowing over your skin, even though you're still a little bit embarrassed about him walking in on you. His touch makes you forget all about it. Let's forget about going out tonight. Tengen murmurs in your ear. I would much rather stay here. With you. You look up at him. Your eyes meeting his. With a mixture of desire. And love. Okay. He says softly. Knowing that nothing else matters. As long as you're with him. As Stengel leads you to the bed, you can't help but smile at the thought of how lucky you are to have a man who can turn even an awkward situation into a romantic one. You love Tengen. Everything about him, from his disarming muscles, to his beautiful smile, and his flashy and wonderful personality. And he knew very well that for as long as you had him by your side, that every moment was going to be a wonderful memory and would turn into an amazing adventure. That was simply just how being with Tengen felt. <laughs>